What's up, Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. and Baja Taco Tours. Today I'm going to walk you through installing our new release accessory relay. This is a power harness relay that will operate any of your downstream electrical components that you only want to have energized in an engine run state. So not key on, engine run. Uh, the, the motor has to be running, the ECU signal has to be uh, in the run state uh, for this relay to, to activate and then for those accessories to be powered. So those would be things like uh, GPS, um, USB charger, heated grips, auxiliary lighting, anything that you only wanted to have powered or charging in the engine run state. Installation is very easy. Uh, the first step we need to do is to find the diagnostic port. This is the ECU and there's a little rubber holder here where this is going to live. And this is a six pin connector. This is the female six pin and you might do well to just pop the ECU up and then you're going to pull this thing out. So that's the that's the dealer diagnostic port and this is where we're going to plug our relay into right in here. So what I like to do on this bike, this is a 20 plus, is to feed it through the airbox. I feed, this is the green wire uh, and this is the connector here. I feed this through the airbox. There's a little hole here where this thing pops out and that's where I like to plug this in. So I'm going to connect that right here and I'll slide that back down into this little hole area right there. You see, you can go back in its place. You're not gonna have the thing connected to the bottom anymore, obviously. The relay is gonna be here in the air box. And then this here, this is for our, our um, accessories. This goes to the battery cable. And so you're just gonna find some area in front of the battery here to feed this up. Okay, once you get the wires, up, then you can run, route these here towards the battery. Once you're connected to the battery, I like to take this relay here and I'll do a couple things with it. Um, I may connect it and zip tie it to the wire harness that's already here inside of the air box. Which is zip tie it to some of this these cables down here. You could zip tie it to the frame if you wanted to. You could gain some access here. Take off this side panel, and there's your subframe. And you could zip tie it here to the subframe. But like I said, I typically will just zip tie it here to something that's already in place. So now that we've got our relay installed and our fuse accessible, we know that this is going to be located in our airbox. Some guys will like to put it on top of the battery here. There's a little nook in here where you can hide it. There's different places you can you can put this. Just remember that you've got accessories connected to this fuse, and so if they ever go dead, that's the fuse you're going to check and change. So you want to make sure you not only remember it, but you have it in an area that's accessible. It's also worth pointing out that the relays on your bike here on the 20 plus models, these relays are sitting up on top of the battery on some of the earlier bikes. It's underneath the battery or underneath some of the side panels. And so our relay is the exact same Panasonic relay that is used for the stock relays. So if you're out in the field and you had a malfunction or a failure of one of your onboard relays, you could just unplug ours and swap it out and that will give you functionality to at least finish up your ride, get home, and you can order new replacement relays from us. So depending on which bike you have, what model, what year, uh, put it wherever you think is best. But now that we've got it installed, let's just do a check on it. And so uh, I'm going to connect a test light here to the positive side. This is what will go to the positive uh, leg of our accessories and we'll start the bike. And as soon as the bike goes off and the, re the ECU, the run signal from the ECU turns off, you hear the relay click and then it shut down. So accessory power has been cut off. After you've installed whatever accessories you're going to run off of these leads here, you'll plug them in and then you can take this and also tuck it up in, secure it out of the way, make sure that these wires don't chafe or rub underneath the seat or rub or chafe on any part of the bike. Your relay kit will come with a little accessory bag right here. These are the connectors that you'll use to crimp on to your accessory that you're gonna be powering on your bike. So this wire simulates whatever we're gonna run, our GPS, heat grips, whatever it is. And these are the little pin terminals that we're gonna crimp onto our wire. Uh, so the first step is to use these little clear boots. And you'll see there's a skinny side and a fat side. The skinny side goes onto the wire, the 
larger side is what's going to slip over the top of the connector. And using whatever connector tool that you have, or you can get these from us, but you may have some of these. These are just crimp jaw connector tools, and these are going to crimp down uh, the, the conductor and then the wire uh, crimp part of the pin. And you can use either the ratchet type, which have more strength, or just these spring-loaded jaw type. Well, we'll have a link to what these uh, are, and it, you can get them from us. So I'm going to load this one up into my tool right here, and I like to pre-pinch the end pins. They fit a little bit better into the tool. You'll end up with a nice, clean crimp like that. If you wanted to come back and throw a little solder on there, uh, you could absolutely do that. Slide the little boot over the top. Don't forget, I almost forgot, don't forget your little boot. You can always slide this over later if you needed to, if you forgot, put a little silicone grease on there to, to get it to slide over. And then you're gonna take your little boot, slide it back over the top of that. Now when you plug it into your relay, you're gonna have these little bullet connectors. So this, these are bullet type, and you can order these from Amazon. You can get these from anywhere. A lot of times when you order electrical accessory, it's gonna come with these. And so on your relay harness itself, you're gonna have these female ends of the bullet connector. And so what I'll typically do is you can just slide the sleeve down so you can access this. And then these things will plug friction fit into the connector. Just work them in and there it is. Do that to the positive side as well. And once they're seated, then you can take the sleeve on the female component and slide that back over. So now everything is insulated and protected underneath this little outer sleeve. And there you go, you're done. Your accessories are connected. Uh, we give you a three position. So you have one, two, three individual positions. So you can power out to three different individual accessories. If you have more, then you could splice in and T-tap into some of your wire. You don't wanna to get too crazy with your wires and also remember that you're dealing with 25 amp fuse on the relay and then you also need to calculate out what your total load is your draw capacity is on your bike and your stator and so if you need some help with that you can shoot us an email and we can walk you through uh, what bike you have and what what your possible power outputs are if you ever need to unplug one of your accessories don't yank on the wires don't hold the wires on either side and pull it's possible you could pull the wires out of the connectors so slide away the insulating boot you can uh and i like to get rid of that one too you can pinch the connector here and see if you can release it now there's often like in this case it's a very tight friction fit and so you're just probably unlikely going to be able to get that out so you can grab it with some needle nose pliers or whatever you have on hand and give it a little twist and pull it out so i've grabbed the, the pin itself i've grabbed the connector and then i've tugged the two apart and that in that way you're not going to damage the wire or the pin. You may also want to put some insulating grease on the pins themselves so you don't get any corrosion or oxidation. And so what you could do there is you could take some silicone dielectric grease, get it coated here, dip that in there, however you want to put that uh, on your connectors, and then slide these in. And now they're grease coated, and so you'll prevent that. You can slide this back over just like that. Let us know if you have any questions or comment about this or any other products or you need any help with your bike. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, go out and get some adventure.